To me, it's about getting closer to the truth of a story, getting closer to people's lives. I'm someone who self-shoots all my films. I go out to remote locations on my own and uh, make films about ordinary people's lives caught up in extraordinary environments and situations. I love an aesthetic frame and I love stories. So being a documentary filmmaker brings all those elements together where I'm really acutely aware of a beautiful frame and then a fantastic story that will move people. When I'm making a documentary about a person's life, their story, the issue behind it, what I hope for is that my film will go about to bring about some kind of change. The best thing is when you have policy change. But if I can change the view of one person in how they think about a person across the world, I feel that I've done my job. I was born and brought up in East Africa, but my origins are in Asia. So I'm really interested in exploring all the stories about my people. My main focus is in giving access to ordinary people to tell their stories in their authentic voice. A lot of the films I make are in really difficult countries. They're dangerous situations, but there's also hostility towards the media. It really matters how discreet your camera equipment can be. I need to be in an environment that can be very intimate. It's usually me and the character that I'm filming with. It's really important for my kit to be quite compact, practical, um, easy to use. I need to be really agile, moving fast, following a contributor. If I'm doing the run and gun, my 24 to 70 is fantastic, but if I'm doing a sit down interview, I love using the 85 mil. It's really important for me that a camera is ergonomically designed. I loved using the Canon C300 because it was just had everything it felt like in the right place. They always say, oh, as a filmmaker, you have to be objective. I disagree. I think it's really important to express how you're feeling when you're filming. If I'm hearing a sad story and I'm impacted by it, I will let my tears flow. If I'm he hearing a joyous story, I will smile. I come alive behind the camera. I'm channeling all my emotions, my intellect, my feelings, my interests through that camera lens. My job is a privilege because I get to hear people's stories. I go to places that, you know, most people wouldn't even dream of going to, quite often war zones. But to me, it's about getting closer to the truth of a story, getting closer to people's lives. So the camera is my passport to everything that I'm interested in.